I have with me here the Dean of Students, uh, the Dean of Student Affairs here at the University of Ghana in the name of uh, Professor Alufa Bokpin, and he will give us some clarifications as to um, which section of students can actually stay. Uh, we know students have begging some questions as to what, if they want to stay, what can they do about that? So let me go straight to him and let me ask him. So Dean, I understand there's some clarifications as to um, those who want to stay or those who want to stay, who are supposed to go, who are not supposed to go home. Yeah. So what do we have for us? I think the, the general position is that um, we encourage our students to stay on, on campus so we are able to monitor the situation and then also to contain the situation. The situation, more importantly, we do not want, um, if anyone is carrying uh, has a virus to actually go into communities and begin to also spread. But it's easier for us to monitor the situation once we know that our students are on campus and then all the emergency measures we put in place will begin to also track and follow and evaluate and all of that. So as much as possible, we are encouraging our students to stay uh, on campus and to remain calm. To that extent, it's not only the traditional host. We have been in contact with the private hostels as well, and we have asked them, and, and, and they have cooperated very well, that any student who is in any private hostel on campus should be allowed to stay if the person wants to stay as much as possible. But if any student, for one reason or the other, wants to go home, they are, they are, our um, suggestion or recommendation is that they should get some kind of a medical clearance before they can go. But this is not intended to be on a mass scale uh, where uh, students can just come and say, okay, I want to go home, but in exceptional cases uh, and all of that, because we don't want this place that has been set up to be crowded and all of that. But as much as possible, we want our students to, to remain on campus. So we observe them and all of that. As we speak right now, the contact tracing team is on campus and is working with the various halls to make sure that um, potential or suspected um, cases are brought under control. So that, 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 that is the position. And the understanding is that whoever is staying in the main, mainland campus or private hostels, it should not come to them at extra cost in terms of residential facility user fee. We are all doing our best to contain the situation. Okay, so to get that for the final time, so for as long as they want to stay? As long as they want to stay, consistent with the university's directives. If it becomes necessary for the university to review the directives that has gone out, that will be done and it will be communicated to all to the university community. Okay. Yes. So you heard that from the Dean of Students Affairs here at the University of Ghana, Professor Alufa Bobkin, who is clarifying that, well, if you're a student and you want to stay on campus, you have the privilege to actually do that. It won't come at any cost um, to you. The screening too has begun, but however, this is going to be done in an orderly manner.